Okay, so for your uh, right hand, uh, you know, if you see my other videos, if you're gonna use finger clicking, your wrist, you don't want it to be close to the guitar, because then if, what happens then is you get this kind of this kind of motion. That's that's no good. Right? You want to have your wrist um, kind of put straight, right? And if, if you look here, it goes it's further away from uh, the soundboard, right? That way, you can really you know you can move from your bass or your knuckle rather than this kind of thing. This kind of thing should be no good. Okay. However, if you're using a pick, okay, it's a different story. If you want to be more accurate, then you do want to kind of rest your your uh, you know your palm, have your wrist more closer to the sideboard, because that way your picking attack is more accurate. If you're more like this, you have more chance of missing. So. What I usually like to do if I'm using a pick and I'm playing notes, um, I, I always start with the, when it comes to practicing, I always start with the, the first finger, right? Because, you know, a lot of the, your notes that you're going to be playing with are going to be in the higher strings anyways. So what I like to do is I like to take my, my, um, my palm right here and my wrist, and then I like to rest it on the top or the sixth string or fifth string like that. So look looks like this, okay? Not too too much going down, but just just on top. If you look right here, that's how it should be. Alright? Now when you have in this position, you can actually you know have better accuracy, you know, playing the pick, okay? You know you're much closer. And the thing is when you're plucking the root with the pick, when you're picking with the pick, you don't have to have like a big motion like this. If you do, then you're going to get out of position. You only need just a slight pluck like this. So you notice how little... And I'm, I'm, I'm really plucking from uh, this thumb joint right here. I'm just kind of, you know, just moving that. So if you want... As an example, if you want more stability and, you know, plucking, what I recommend is, um, kind of what we call a full point exercise. Like, when you're plucking, you know, finger plucking, there's a full point exercise where you leave your fingers down, and then you pluck, and you leave the other fingers down like this. Well, what, what I would do is, for a full point picking exercise, is let's say, let's choose a first string, okay? We're going to pick just a first string open. Okay. What I would do is pluck and then kind of like meet the uh, meet the string again. So it's kind of like replanting. So pluck, replant, pluck, replant, pluck, replant. The reason why I'm doing this is that so you can get used to not having such a huge motion of plucking, just a small amount of movement. That this way you get more accurate movement. So doing this is kind of good exercise, you know, and uh, kind of you know, forcing yourself, uh, training yourself more like, training yourself to uh, have more accuracy in your work hand. So play, 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 play. And then, once you get at that, then you can just, uh, you don't have to do that, just go play, and just start off. Because you're used to uh, doing that. But um, I would first start with, you know, the planting exercise. Play, play. Try with the second string. And now when you get to the third string, I would have to slightly move my wrist up a little, like a string, you know. And the third string. Play, 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 play. And you get to the fourth string, move up a little bit more. So when I'm at the fourth string, you know. Pretty much my, my wrist is like on the soundboard. But like my bottom of my palm is on the sixth string. So you do the 
same thing. Alright, and this string. By this time, when you get to the fifth string, your your palm is pretty much should be touching the soundboard. Set string is usually the hardest, uh, especially if your fingers are in position. But you know, for the most part, you know, again, you're gonna play like usually the first, second, third, and the fourth string. But you know, the fifth, sixth string is usually more for uh, the bass or whatever or chords. Or whatever. But if you're you know doing like notes and stuff, you know, first, second, third, fourth string is good. So if you're doing as a practice, I would practice doing the full practices on just the four strings. So. Exercise, but without planting, just go one, two, three, four. And you should have, you know, the same follow through. 